Hi, everyone. I'm Rebecca Ader. I'm a principal solutions engineer at Snowflake, supporting our state and local government customers in Austin, Texas. Thanks for joining us for this week's Feature Friday, where we'll talk about Snowflake's Trust Center, which is generally available. Let's get into it. Our customers have been asking how they can make sure they're following Snowflake's security best practices. We hear a lot of concerns about account security. We hear folks wondering, what's the best way to protect my account from potential attacks? So I'm excited to do this session today on the Trust Center, uh, and we're going to explore today how the Trust Center helps you evaluate and monitor your account for security risks, making sure that your data remains protected. At Snowflake, we prioritize security by building a platform you can trust with your most sensitive data, adopting a data-centric security architecture to guard against advanced threats, and reducing risks and minimizing total cost of ownership through a centralized experience across regions and clouds. Security in the cloud is a collaborative effort between the customer and the cloud service provider. Traditionally, the shared responsibility model delineated these roles. However, Snowflake embraces a shared destiny approach, emphasizing proactive collaboration to enhance security. This means for customers, you're responsible for adopting industry standards and Snowflake best practice recommendations. For Snowflake, we take care of implementing internal lease privilege and MFA, conducting regular audits, ensuring our platform is secure by design, providing governance enablement through the Trust Center, offering features that are secure by default, and encouraging a secure ecosystem. In addition to the Snowflake shared responsibility model, we're excited to announce our collaboration with CIS to create a benchmark that captures Snowflake's security capabilities and security best practices for our customers. The CIS Snowflake Foundations benchmark is a set of industry-recognized best practices and security configurations that help organizations strengthen their Snowflake deployments and verify and ensure their Snowflake account adheres to industry best practices. So let's talk about the Trust Center. This is a new interface in SnowSight that's designed to help you identify security risks and take action before they escalate. With the Trust Center, you can quickly scan your Snowflake account for security violations using scanner packages. The Security Essentials Scanner Package helps mitigate credential theft by checking for MFA compliance and network policy usage. The CIS Benchmark Scanner Package evaluates your account against industry best practices based on the CIS Snowflake Foundation's benchmark. By centralizing cross-cloud security monitoring, the Trust Center makes it easier to detect risks, streamline security efforts, and reduce overall costs all in one place. It's about staying proactive and making security management more efficient than ever. The Trust Center offers three out-of-the-box scanner packages. The Security Essential Scanner Package runs bi-weekly with Snowflake covering the cost. Customers cannot alter the schedule. And what it does is it scans for multi-factor authentication and network policy violations. The CIS Benchmark Package scans for all CIS Benchmark violations. The frequency of these scans can be configured and it's charged according to usage. It uses serverless compute inside Snowflake anytime it scans. The Threat Intelligence Package detects risky users. The frequency of scans for that can also be configured and it's also charged according to usage. So if you're concerned about how some of these costs work, you can use cost-related views in the account usage and organization usage schemas to track the costs associated with the Trust Center. For more flexibility, the Trust Center allows customers or security partners to develop custom scanners. By leveraging Snowflake native apps, you can build extensibility into the Trust Center, improving user experience and performance while lowering costs. You can stay informed with the Trust Center's notification feature. You're able to configure email alerts to notify you when findings with high or critical severities are discovered, allowing you to focus on what matters most. You can personalize your Trust Center experience by enabling or disabling specific scanners, configuring the frequency of scans, and requesting out-of-band runs as needed. This fine-grained control ensures the Trust Center aligns with your organization's unique security needs. You can efficiently manage security findings by resolving them as either fixed or won't fix. You can suppress findings that may not be applicable to your environment or those that have already been addressed. 
This triage process helps maintain focus on pertinent security issues. We're introducing the notion of a healthy user in Snowflake. A user is healthy if they follow best practices for strong authentication. Otherwise, they're a risky user. By identifying and addressing risky users, you can enhance your account's security posture. Now let's look at some examples of how you might actually use Trust Center day to day. Multi-factor authentication or MFA adds an extra layer of security. With Trust Center, you can get a quick summary of MFA violations and you can view a list of users not complying with MFA policies. This makes sure that all human users using password-based authentication are protected. Overprivileged roles can pose security risks. The Trust Center helps you identify users with excessive privileges, such as those assigned to the account admin or security admin roles. This ensures that tasks run with custom roles containing only necessary privileges. This minimizes potential security vulnerabilities. For better security, you should really limit the number of users with account admin and security admin roles assigned to them. The target should be fewer than 10 such users, but you need to make sure that at least two users have these roles assigned to provide a recovery path if one of them experiences login issues. The Trust Center helps you with monitoring and enforcing this best practice. Inactive user accounts can be potential security risks. On a regular basis, you should revoke unused access grants and disable user accounts that haven't logged in for 90 days. The Trust Center identifies these stale users, allowing you to take appropriate action. Network policies restrict access to your Snowflake account based on source IP addresses. Setting up these policies reduces the risk of credential and token replay from untrusted networks and devices. The Trust Center checks for the presence of these policies and provides recommendations. External stages are used for loading and unloading data between Snowflake and external storage locations. By configuring storage integrations, you remove the need to supply credentials when creating external stages. Security administrators can constrain allowed storage locations, reducing the risk of data leaks. The Trust Center ensures that your external stages are properly configured with storage integrations. Thank you for attending today's session on the Trust Center. We encourage you to explore its features and integrate them into your security workflows. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to reach out and check out these links on the screen for more information about the Trust Center. And that's it. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.